Hi, I'm Jeff Kiefer, and I've had Parkinson's for about five years. I've tried to deal with the disease head on by staying active with new pursuits like videography, which you're seeing today, kayaking, and dancing. But the most important way is by getting involved in supporting research for Parkinson's. The science is advancing rapidly. There are strong leads today on how the disease works. There is hope for disease-modifying therapies. Here to tell you more are the world-class doctors and scientists at Penn Medicine. With my uh, colleague, uh, Virginia Lee, uh, we have developed a center for neurodegenerative disease research that focuses on the major neurodegenerative diseases. The, the mission of our uh, center is to, to come up with ways in which we can diagnose this disease better and also come up with potential treatment. When we established the center in 1982, our goal was to have a comprehensive care program. And it was our mission to really improve the lives of both patients and, uh, and their families. But we're particularly interested here at Penn in markers of, of Parkinson's. In other words, we'd like to be able to diagnose Parkinson's before patients actually develop neurologic symptoms. And we have a number of clues that suggest that that really is not that far away. Our research here at Penn has been uh, biomarkers for um, cognitive decline in Parkinson's disease. Our team showed that um, a bl blood levels of epidermal growth factor, or EGF, are associated with um, greater risk of cognitive decline in Parkinson's disease. If one can diagnose Parkinson's disease before it becomes clinically manifest, then we can envision a time when we can institute treatments that may actually halt or at least slow the onset of, of Parkinson's, and that would have a major impact on long-term disability. have uh, been able to develop a, a really unusual animal model that link the uh, Lewy body pathology with the loss of uh, dopamine producing cells. Um, I collaborated on this work with uh, Dr. Calvin Luke, um, who is the first author of, of this really very important study. My work is focused on a protein called alpha-synuclein. One of our uh, recent uh, discoveries is the fact that we can actually induce the formation of these Lewy body-like uh, aggregates in the brains of mice. What this means is that the protein, alpha-synuclein, being misfolded, taking on an abnormal form in itself, can actually cause disease in an otherwise healthy organism. It's one of the most exciting aspects of Parkinson's disease research today that we can conceive of are therapies that target disease mechanisms centered on alpha synuclein, the protein that forms Lewy bodies, and, uh, and, and devise strategies to shut down the formation of these pathologies, uh, retard their progression. Providing the comprehensive care and clinical services that we do, and doing the research that we do, uh, takes a tremendous amount of funding. So it is imperative that we continue to be very active in raising awareness, in providing the funds, not only to continue our comprehensive care for patients that have Parkinson's, uh, but also to fund the research that will ultimately really significantly impact the natural history of this disorder. It's, it's, it's really a matter of resources to implement and trans to, to implement our ideas and translate the knowledge we now have into meaningful therapy. It's time. These steps gets us closer and closer to therapies that will significantly impact the course of disease. It's time to drive the new discoveries forward. I am more excited than I ever have been before that we, were, we are within striking distance to slowing down the progression of Parkinson's disease. We have. It's time to lift the burden on patients and their families. About therapies that will be available in the future that will actually halt the disease in its tracks. It's time.